Hi Taurus, um, I'm Shah. Hi and how are you? Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and this is your reading uh, for the week of the 17th to the 23rd of February. I hope you had a beautiful week last, night, uh, last week, especially on Valentine's Day. I hope you had a brilliant Valentine's Day and let's get started with this reading. Let me know how your Valentine was. And um, if you're new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live, as I go live every day, give out free cards. And there's also super stickers and super chat available. So if you have a specific question, then I can answer it there and then. But if you wish to have an extended reading, um, then please go to the website and you can see all kinds of different readings available and see the reviews that I've made on these cards, the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Archangel Metatron deck and other decks. Okay, there will be uh, uploads frequently and um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know what you think of the website. Uh, there is a white button with an eye in it in the uh, right hand corner of the screen. Then click on that and click through to the website. Please leave me your reactions and your thumbs up beneath this video and let's get started. On Monday the 17th you have the Page of Cups. This deck is totally orientated to the feminine side of us and the lady itself. The, um, I think this is awesome. Um, Yasmin Westwood, she is the author of the uh, deck and I think it is really great that she is highlighting the femininity, the nurturing, caring and loving side of us, the feminine side, Venus and whether you're a man or a woman. Well, the Page of Cups, we all know that pages and knights are um, news bringers, and so you might be receiving news about love, or perhaps about a passion. But this could be a passion for a person or with a person, or this could be passion for a hobby or a career, a vocation. Okay, something will become clear to you. And the card of Metatron uh, is 30, so that's a 3. It is silver. It could be silver in the old days was money, coins, because they were made of silver. So you might even get news about money. And you are the warrior of the light. The warrior of the light is like uh, Archangel Michael. You strive for truth and you protect like Michael does. And clarity. So something will become clear to you today. Um, and you are quite creative with this news or about this news. You most probably will be back in balance because we've got two of cups above her head. So this news could bring you emotionally in balance. Or you could be meeting a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Midweek you have the Guide. The Guide is number 5 from the Big Arcana and that is the Hierophant. Okay. It is depicted here with um, uh, a lady and she is also got a child underneath. Now if you compare it to the traditional tarot, the Hierophant is standing on a, uh, on a platform, a stage, and the pulpit, and the two uh, priests are below. So I only have one here, there's not two, but here you are. This means that there is an, uh, that you might be seeing an advisor or you might be learning something from somebody on Wednesday. You might seek professional advice or you might go to a father figure or you might be the advisor for a younger person. 
The card that's clarifying, it means a new dawn. It says a new dawn. There is an ending as it is number 10 and a new beginning. Okay, it says welcome back. Every day is a new day and an every day brings new things. It's a new start to the day. So something might, new might be starting for you today as you have received news on Monday or Tuesday that um, brings you clarity. Um, perhaps this man or this woman um, that you seek advice from has given you clarity. It could be something to do with justice or judicial issues or an institutional uh, issue. It could be about a school or a hospital or, or the, the tax returns, something that is lawfully bind, judicially bind, because the Hierophant, which is the guide in this deck, is connected in an institute with an institution, as you can see, the church window. On Friday we have the Three of Wands and the Three of Wands means that your, um, your plans are coming to fruition. Your boat is coming in. Abundance is coming in. Wow! This new beginning could be long term, um, for long term, because this card here, that is boundaries. Set your boundaries. And set them daily, okay. But this also reminds me of a couple of decks that they have the archway to the Ace of Pentacles, but you've got the key in your own hand, okay. Be ambitious, be ambitious, okay, like the tower. And the tower is also high, so it's very long, so it's something that's going to or can be here for long term. It's up to you whether you want to open the door or close the door. Um, but set your boundaries. Let others know your boundaries. You are a bit out of balance. You've got 14, which is a 5. So you've come uh, from abundance to a 5, trying to suss out the new beginning or a new investment. Or you might be meeting a fire sign. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius um, or a Leo. And again, you have a nine here, but um, you've got faces closing off. There's a lot of things closing off and new beginnings. The nine is an end and that also means a new beginning, but you're taking a rest. Here you can see a butterfly and the butterfly means a transformational period. Wow, you are no longer the caterpillar. You've had your rest. You've been in that cocoon long enough. You're coming out now over the weekend. You've got a new beginning here and here and here. So beautiful. Something did become clear to you on Wednesday and a new dawn broke through for you. And you've got a diamond. So this uh, diamonds are forever. Boom, there you go. I'm getting these things in my head and uh, in my feeling. I'm hearing them. And so that's why I already said long term, but it's up to you. And you've got 51, which is balanced. So you're absolutely in balance. You are um, being protected by the white light. Metatron is um, encircling a white light around you. If you need to be protected and you don't feel any angel is around you, then imagine you're standing in the white light, purity and innocence to protect yourself. And diamonds are forever. This job or this situation, this new passion, this new love could be for uh, uh, forever. As they say, diamonds are forever. Okay. And you've got the nine of wands, so you finished with the old, you're coming in with the new, and I think it will be a fire sign, or work, or a hobby, as that is, and passion. But passion doesn't last, darling, so know your boundaries, 
and know their boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are so that this passion, passion can turn into a fully fledged relationship. Again, you've got clarity, justice. You've got the king of swords. That means justice will be done. He's a man, he could be a judge or a lawyer, um, but he's giving you, yes, you have won. Or you could meet a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian, um, Taurus. Um, you could also be starting a, a, a new study because the king stands for wisdom and also communication. Perhaps you might start a, um, a job teaching. You might be starting as a judge or an advocate or you might just go and teach children in the school. <clears throat> or you might be a nurse, a doctor, a surgeon, a hairdresser, a butcher, something that cuts. That could be your vocation or career. Or the person that you are meeting. Boom. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The last card you have is the Peach Angel Feather. And the Peach Angel Feather is secret desire so your secret desire is coming out this week boom it's coming out honesty is coming out and clarity the angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams hand them over for safe keeping you can wear this color or you can eat cream uh, or peach i mean sorry peach you can eat peach uh, or you can drink peach, ju peach juice um, I'm stumbling over my words I'm sorry for that okay well so you can eat peach drink peach you can wear it um, but there's also other things that you can use uh, with this card and um, there is no angel as such uh, assigned to this uh, because I've got also got angels assigned to the chakras, so that's what I'm meaning. Uh, but the closest that would come to peach is orange, your secretal chakra. Perhaps um, stomach ache might just disappear in the sacral area of your body, and that is Archangel Gabriel. You do have a lot of orange around you, so that could be it. The butterflies. Ooh, so ask Archangel um, Gabriel to help you with the butterflies in your tummy. And of course, there are angels here that are assigned with you. Um, there are no archangels, that was the only archangel. And then you've also got Archangel or Angel Haniel, the Angel of Love, and the Angel of Isiel. And, uh, sorry, Angel Isiel is the Angel of the Future, and uh, Angel Nisroch, the Angel of Freedom. You would like, I think you would like to feel free in a relationship, but, with, but you want a future in this relationship, and you uh, would like love so you would like clarity um, you would like equilibrium honesty um, openness you would like to talk in your relationship well you definitely can do that with the air signs perhaps it might be too much for you <laughs> um, but also um, the fire signs they're active they are logical but and they do talk but um, they are more abrupt than the air signs the air signs will chat the the dutch saying is they will chat the ears off your head they can sell ice cubes to eskimos so if you want to have a good natter also a wise natter they are um hilarious sometimes they have a sense of humor as well but uh, you have to cope with the swiftness of both signs let them know what your boundaries are my darling okay well i hope you have enjoyed this reading and i hope you will share it 
and the stones that you can wear with your uh, peach angel uh, feather is Himalaya salt or have it around you or wear it on you put a little uh, uh, Himalaya salt in your bra or in your pocket and uh, salt is also wears of evil and you've got peach dolomite or moonstone so those are the three stones that you can use to detox or release, um, uh, uh, release stress and relax a little bit more okay i love your reading it's brilliant let me know what you thought and um, give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends take care and be blessed